Hello and welcome to Music Teacher's Helper. In this video tutorial I'm going to walk you through some of the basic features of Music Teacher's Helper so you can see what it can do for you in your studio and give you an overview of all of its functionality. Now it, Music Teacher's Helper is very easy to use. It was created with input from hundreds of music teachers just like you, each with their own particular needs in their studios. And we have tried to address them all. Uh, one of the things that I hear most from music teachers who use Music Teachers Helper is that they love how everything in relation to their studio is all in one place. They don't have spreadsheets and notebooks scattered everywhere. It's all organized and here in one place. And that's one thing that Music Teachers Helper provides you. But I want to point out before we get started here that Music Teachers Helper is more than just an organizational tool or a studio management tool. It's really like a personal assistant for you in your studio because it does things for you on its own automatically while you're sleeping for example it can send automatic emails to your students about upcoming lessons uh, it can create invoices for them whatever else you tell it to do and that can save you so much time and headache having to worry about doing all those things so I hope you enjoy what music teachers helper does and let's get started when you first log in you will see this home page which gives you an overview of everything that's happening in your studio. Financial information, you know, earnings, birthdays, lots of other things. But before we get into that too much, let's take a look at some of these menu items at the top. Now these, this is where you'll access everything that you can do in your studio. First of all, you have the Home tab, which is the page we're looking at here. But you can also customize your preferences, put in your profile, such as your billing address and things so that will show up on your invoices and then down here at the bottom you have a place to set up your studio website every music teachers helper account comes with a free studio website where you can put up as many pages as you want and it's all already professionally designed for you so you don't have to do any programming or web design just choose which of these themes you want your website to look like and it will instantly be updated to look like it and here is where you can set up your website pages. You can also put up news and announcements, photos, links, resources for your students, and files if you have maybe a recording of a student performance or a teaching policy in a PDF format or anything like that you can upload for your students to see. On the calendar, you can see a list of all of the lessons, recitals, other events that are happening in your studio. You'll notice there's a month view and a week view and a day view. We're looking at the month view right now. And of course these boxes will just get bigger as you have more information in there. And you can see that it's color coordinated. So I have it set on my calendar to show blue for private lessons, green for group classes, and a yellow background for recitals. Now you can set up your own categories and your own colors however you want and you'll notice that it has it crosses it out when the lesson has been canceled and you if it's a lesson that you've already taught you can also you'll notice that it lets you keep notes on how the lesson went this one I told the student keep up the good work good job on your performance book today remember to bring your theory workbook next time now these are just demo students they're not really my students but anyway this is how it works and you can click the lesson to edit it or delete it or change the schedule and all that you need to do on the calendar. The nice thing about Music Teachers Helper is that it's not just a calendar for you to look at, but if you give your students a username and password, they can also log in from home to see when their schedule is, see when their lessons are. They can request cancellation and reschedule, uh, rescheduling for lessons and communicate with you through email that way. It's just a great tool. Uh, saves a lot of time with having students have to call you or forget their lessons. But one other thing that really helps with that is the automatic event reminders that you can set up, which will email your students a reminder of each lesson before it happens. And I've had several teachers tell me that this really helps cut down on no-shows. And even if just having by having the parents get an email saying, remember to come to your lesson tomorrow, it helps them remember, oh, you know, maybe I'll, I, I, that reminds me I'm going to be out of town next week. Can you cancel this lesson. It, it just helps really in, in that way a lot. Now let's go on to the student tab. We have the student list which shows all of your students active, waiting, 
the students on your waiting list and your former students. And you can click any of their names here to see all of their information, their addresses and phone numbers, email addresses, and you can set up how much you're charging them for a lesson. This student charge, uh, is charged a $50 a month flat fee, no matter how many lessons are taught. But you can also charge per lesson, say $20 a lesson or whatever you charge. And then every lesson on the calendar will have that fee associated with it unless you override it. Um, now you can also set up and store information like the student's birthday, the date they started taking from you instrument, skill level, whatever you want to store. Any additional notes can go here. Maybe information about their past experience or whatever you'd like to store. Now from the student menu, you can also send an email to your students, a mass email that will be able to be sent to parents and students. You have a lending library. Now this is great if you have ever lent out a book to your students and not gotten it back. This will solve that problem. And what you do is just click the Lend an Item link. You choose the student you want to lend the book to, the title of it, when you want it back, and then you'll see here a list of all the items that are checked out. This one is overdue. And before it becomes overdue, this student will get an email saying, remember to bring this book to your next lesson. And th these emails are sent you know, while you're sleeping. You don't have to manually do that. It's just one of the ways that Music Teacher's Helper works like a personal assistant for you. And then when the book, when they bring the book back, you just click check in item and it will disappear from the list. Very easy to use. You can also store a repertoire of, uh, that your students are working on or have mastered. A file area, 